everyone, welcome to Tennisbin.net. I'm Kavitha, here with your preview of Wimbledon 2011. Now, there are not a lot of warm-up events leading up to this tournament, and so no one really knows where everyone stands, and there's plenty of room for lots of surprises. But one thing's for certain, whoever comes out on top is gonna have to earn it. Championships at Wimbledon have always had a regal air about them. But don't let the players' crisp, clean gear fool you. The ones who thrive here are ready to battle. Defending champion Serena Williams is back in all her glory. The four-time winner at the All England Club has only played one tournament since claiming the title last year, but thanks to her prowess in London, she remains a seventh seed. And Rafael Nadal, who hasn't lost a match at Wimbledon since the 2007 final, reiterated his major toughness when he bashed his way to his sixth Roland Garros crown. But with his number one ranking on the line again, the pressure will be on to outperform. Novak Djokovic is a stone's throw away from that top spot, and could become the first non-Nadal, non-Federer number one since 2004. He's made the semifinals twice, and might be in a position to jumpstart the streak which ended so abruptly in Paris. And six-time champion Roger Federer ended his major final drought last month. He lost there, sure, but this is a land in which he's much more comfortable, and I expect he'll make a big push to reclaim the crown. On the women's side, Serena is still certainly a candidate for the title, despite her recent absence. She only got in one win at Eastbourne, but we know she always brings her best to the slams, and so should never be counted out. And Maria Sharapova, who captured her first major here seven years ago, continues improving her game in 2011. She didn't play a warm-up event, but after a stellar clay court run, she has momentum on her side. But this year's field again opens the door for a couple players out to capture that elusive first major. The UK's greatest hope, Andy Murray, surprised us all with his improved clay court style, but he's realistically a much stronger contender here, and the title run at Queen's Club reiterates that fact. And last year's finalist, Tomas Burdich, seemed to get some of his footing back in recent months. He made the semis in Halle, so should return to London with some much-needed confidence. For the ladies, of course the world is watching for Caroline Wozniacki to finally back up that number one ranking with a slam. She won a tournament in Copenhagen, but hasn't played on grass since last year, so the transition may not be as seamless as she'd hope. And 2010 surprise runner-up Vera Zvonareva got revenge over her vanquisher in Eastbourne. I'd almost written off her chances, but suddenly she's looking more solid than she has in a long time. But these names only scratch the surface of potential title contenders, and when you dig a little further, a couple more spoilers emerge. Daniela Huntikova is playing some of her most consistent tennis these days, making the semis at the last two events she's played. And 2009 quarterfinalist Sabine Lisicki is clearly on the comeback trail. A title in Birmingham should give her the confidence to outperform her ranking. For the men, Philip Kohlschreiber downed a couple seeds in Halle to win his first title in more than three years, while Devon Dodig, who had his breakthrough early in the year, proved that he's no one-surface wonder with a finals run in Den Bosch. So my New Year's picks to win the title certainly have their work cut out for them. But five-time champion Venus Williams can't be ignored, while John Isner, unseated this year, could still do well if he survives an epic first-round rematch. It's not that the usual champions are particularly vulnerable this year, but the fact that there's so much depth in the game makes me think that anyone really can come home with the titles. Be sure to check my first-round matches to watch at Wimbledon, and keep clicking on Tennisbin.net for full coverage of all the action at the All England Club. Till then, thanks for watching. See you next time.